Watch it! Blowing his eggs in now! Look, you're late. Get in that cab. Look, I got here seven minutes early to do that shopping. Yeah, well, now we're eight minutes late. You're a lousy shopper. Get in that cab. Hang on a minute. Blimey, <laughs> what's up now? Forgot my stamps. <laughs> Let that bloke put his case on my shopping, did you? Look, I've had hundreds of passengers on and off this bus. I haven't had a time to keep an eye on your frozen veg. You shouldn't put your shopping on the bus. Look, I've told you before I've got the old lady and Olive down with a flu. Blimey, somebody's got to do it, haven't they? Yeah. Well, then. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> you lousy idiot. I couldn't help yeah, it. Yeah, watch it. Here comes a good start, mate. Mate, again, Butler. Yeah. What's it this time, eh? Eh? What is it? <laughs> What's that? Uh, uh, that is, um... <clears throat> yeah. You had, uh, you had livestock on a bus, haven't you? Ah, uh, it's just a broken egg. Yeah. Egg? Yeah. I can see it's an egg. Well, how'd it get down there? Well, did you know? We got in on top. <laughs> Twit. There's another one. Where are they all coming from? Oh, come on, give us it. It's come to my shopping. Come on, don't... Your shopping? Up. Yeah. You know the regulations, butler. What? Eh? Hey? I don't know yours. Oh, go on, Eddie. Yeah. Might be a passenger. Yeah. Passenger might lay that on the seat. <laughs> <laughs> I know the rules. I should hand that into the lost property. You do that. If nobody claims it in three months, it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, you sure I don't think I'll be fool enough to go and collect it, do you? After three months, you wouldn't have to. He'd have come and collect you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poo. Poo, mate. <laughs> the smell of that one down there, you won't have to wait three months. <laughs> He's right, you know, it's well off. Well, blimey, that's Poo. a liberty. I paid six bob a dozen for those eggs. They told me they were farm fresh. Farm fresh? <laughs> Smells like a farmyard. Ah, <laughs> oh, don't be ridiculous, mate. Look, you can see they've got the feathers on them. Look, you lame. You ignorant moron. They're duck's feathers. Probably stuck on with fish glue. <laughs> and don't let me catch you using the bus to use your, to carry your personal effects either. I can't help it. I've got them all down with a fluid tone. Yeah, they'll all be down with food poisoning when they get that lot down, mate. There you are. You might as well go home and do your housework, little mother. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't doing that. My brother-in-law's doing that. Well, no. Yeah. But you didn't send him to go to do, do the shopping for you. Farm fresh. Poo. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Poo. <laughs> hey! Keep moving. When you stand still, you make a puddle. <laughs> come on, come on. Get some sawdust and clean that lot up. What? You must be joking. Well, you won't be joking, mate, if somebody comes round here and slips over and bakes their neck on it. Yeah? You try it and see. <laughs> <laughs> Stand! 
<laughs> Stan? Is that you, Stan? Yeah, it's me. I'm out, Mum. Hey, I'll be up in a minute. And listen, I've got the shopping. Did you get me pink stamps? Uh, yeah. I, uh, yeah, I've got your stamps here. And, uh, no, they're green. Ah, <laughs> you went to the wrong place. Can you take the shopping bag? <laughs> And what are you doing home so late? Have you been drinking with Jack again? Of course I ain't. No, we're running late. Oh, I haven't stopped since I came in from work. <laughs> you left this place looking like a pigsty. I, I get free breakfast this morning. That's a lot of grub. Yeah, I know. Most of it's on this pan. That should come off, mate. Because that happens to be a non-stick pan. It hasn't been stuck on, mate. It's been welded on. Oh. <laughs> you look cute in your rubber gloves. <laughs> You may scoff, mate, but I do not intend getting my hands rough. <laughs> Keep them nice and smooth, mate. They'll <laughs> yeah, match the top of your head. <laughs> Here. Look at that. What? I can see my face in there. God blimey, you're a glutton for punishment, aren't you? <laughs> Listen, as you give the old lady a medicine. I have not had time. Oh, blimey, what else? I mean, after all, she's had the flu. I mean, it's left her very weak, you know. I don't think I'll give her any. As long as she'll have that broomstick right through the ceiling. She's getting weaker, mate. Half an hour ago, she did. Yeah. Stand oh. my punishment. I'll bring it up with your dinner. Then be a good boy and bring me dinner up. Oh, Blimey, she's getting better, mate. Here, I'm leaving this bad for you. I've got one of my headaches coming on. Yeah, well, I'll have you some of this shopping, mate. I'll do this shopping. And what? What is that? That's the butter. <laughs> Isn't it marvellous, eh? They bring that 13,000 miles all the way from New Zealand in perfect condition. You can't bring it half a mile from a shop. Ah, got too hot on the bus, I expect. Yeah. You got any fruit for the invalids? Yep, yeah. I've got some grapes. Run and eat potatoes. <laughs> what do you put them under the potatoes for? Because I bought them first. You put fragile things on top, mate. Blimey, I put the eggs on top and they got broke. <laughs> and what do you buy an empty carton for? It wasn't empty. That was the yoghurt. Ah. And what's this? Ah, that's some tapioca. The doctor said Mum could have some tapioca. She likes it. It's her favourite. Here, I bet she thinks I forgot it. <laughs> oh, blimey. What do you want now? I bet you forgot to get me tapioca. <laughs> I'm cooking it now. You must have very hot hands. Gosh. <laughs> I'm going to do it in this arbor. Hey, 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 no. Put this one down. No, clean that one. How about this one then? That one took me off for now. Oh. <laughs> well, give us the cat's bowl. I'll do it in there. Don't be stupid. Here, cook it in there. All right, now let me see. Now I want some milk, some sugar and a tapioca. That's right, isn't it? Don't ask me, mate. You're the cook. I'm just the kitchen maid. I shall be going cream my hands. Get you, darling. Now, let's see. Uh, milk first. Yeah, tapioca pudding should be done by now, Arthur. What are you talking about? Your cookbook said two hours at number three. Oh, I couldn't wait that long, so I gave it half hour at number twelve. You what? <laughs> what a shame! What a lot of rot you two talk. Of course it's not the same. No, no. What's the matter with that then, eh? <laughs> Well, that shrunk a bit, didn't it? Yeah, well, they always do when you cook them, don't they? I'll try a bit from the side. <laughs> Blimey, it's a bit solid, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> That's a pretty big spoonful, isn't it? 
Blimey, I've never seen anything like that before. I have, when they were building the M1. <laughs> what are you talking about? There's nothing wrong with it. It wants thinning out with a drop of milk at all. <laughs> God, blimey, it's waterproof. <laughs> you know what? You could patent that, mate. I... No, I reckon you've discovered a new type of plastic. <laughs> you can't give that to Marjorie. What's she ever done to you? What's wrong with it? Blum, it's only milk, sugar and tapioca. You try a bit. No, thank you. I am not a tapioca person. And I'm not feeling so good. You try it. No, I'll, uh, I'll give Mum a bit. She'll tell me if it's any good or not. Huh? Shall I go down and fill it? No, love, you stay here. Let's stand do it. Oh, all right. Here, Mum. Oh. Hello, Olive. Hello. Oh, you better. Look, I made you some tapioca. Uh, it didn't come out quite right, though. Oh, it looks <laughs> delicious. Yeah. Well, you better try it first. Yes, it does. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's different. <laughs> Can you fill my hot water bottle, please? God blimey, I'm up and down these stairs. I'm worn out. Good job I'm a driver and not a conductor. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you just told Stan it was delicious. Well, milk's all right, but I didn't want to upset him. What am I going to do with it? Oh, I know. I'll give it to Russ. <laughs> Come on, love. There you are. Oh, yeah, I know what to do, Mum. What? <laughs> 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 ah, you always was a clever girl. Quick finger. Here, give it a spec. Stan's coming. Hey, how's your hot water, Bill? Thanks, Mum. The kettle was boiling, see? Be careful, it's hot. Blimey, you soon hit that. Yes. It was your morning. No, 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 thanks, love. No. Well, it's plenty downstairs. No, no, I don't want to make a pig of myself, love. All right, then. Now, is there anything else you want me to do before I go? Oh, yes, just a few things. Wait a minute, put my glasses on. I've got a list here for you. What have you done with it, Russ? A list? But, yes, oh, I've got a lovely yeah. list here. Come on, Russ, here, yeah, let's li read this list. Here it is. Take our new prescription to the chemist and bring back the medicine. Medicine? What are you talking about, Blum? You've got all this lot here, look. Well, Blummy, that was when we was ill. Now we're getting better, it's different. Get Olive's sickness benefit, get me old age pension, get the insurance paid, get some nice fresh fish. Is that all? That's all on this page. <laughs> get some oranges, get some apples. Oh, Blummy, why can't she do something? Well, she has, dear. She made the list out. <laughs> well, I'll have to do something. I can't do all this work on my own. Oh. Oh, oh. what's the matter with you? <laughs> I thought so. What? 102.5. Hey? <laughs> I got the flu, mate. You'll have to carry on without me. God, <laughs> blimey, that's all I needed. Well, and it's lucky we're all ill together, Stan. Oh, very lucky. <laughs> well, I shall just have to go to bed for a few days. Oh, well, that's not too bad, love. I'll be in bed all day with you. Hey. <laughs> blimey, having flu's going to be worse than I thought. <laughs> Excuse me, darling. Is your husband at home? <laughs> Shut up. Wipe your feet. Wipe all your right, feet. All right, all right. Come on, Stan. We're due out in half an hour. I can't go yet. Well, I'm going to have to wait, mate. I haven't well, taken the breakfast up yet. Well, get your skates on, will you? Don't knock your ash all over my floor. <laughs> all right. Where's the ash taken? Not in there, blimey, can't you see it's clean? I'll swallow it if you like. I'm getting rid of it tomorrow, thank God. Oh yeah, what's it going to be? Arsenic in the cocoa or weed killer in the centre pods? <laughs> no, the doctor said Mum was uh, strong enough to travel, so I'm bunging them off down to her sister at Thorpe Bay. Ah, oh, now, that is a good idea, that is. Ooh. What's that smell? What smell? <laughs> the milk! God! <laughs> God! 
time. It's all your fault, isn't it? My fault? Well, if you'd been late as usual, this wouldn't have happened. It's all right, you can boil up another lot. I can't. I've used up three saucepans already. There you are. Here's that. That's no good. Why not? I ain't got no milk. Yeah. Sid, what about our breakfast? Shut up! I'll bring it up in a minute. How do you give the Go to toast, to toast! Here, this grill pan's all full of milk. I'll sling it down the sink. No, 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 don't waste it. I'll give that to Arthur. Well, that's all greasy. I know I cooked some lamb chops with it last night. <laughs> He moaned there was no gravy, so he can have it with his milk this morning. Well, it'll taste the lamb chops. I'll tell him it's lamb's milk. <laughs> Stan! Don't forget my pills! Called blummin', I wonder I can't sweep the floor. They've got all the brooms upstairs. <laughs> I'll bring it up with your breakfast! <laughs> what a life this is, mate. Where's it? That's it. Sure you can manage, all right? Ah, shut your gob. <laughs> Come on, make some room for the tray. Here, let's have one of your tissues. Isn't it marvellous? When anyone else takes out a tissue, another one pops up. You take out a tissue, nothing pops up. <laughs> shut at me, I can't help it if nothing happens. Nothing ever happens with you. <laughs> oh, Come thank quick, God it's about time God, to... Blimey, I've got a lot here. Cock hold of it. Quick. Here, here's yours. Sir. That's it. Do something, do something. Thank you. There we are. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks very much. Your Lordship's all right, I suppose. Love. Nice cup of tea, some oh. prunes, and uh, here's your pills, look. Oh, thanks. I'll put them love. on there. It wasn't too much bother for you, was it? No, Didn't no. Didn't have no trouble in the kitchen? Oh, no, 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 it was all right. Now, uh, you eat your prunes up, I want you to be nice and strong for when you travel tomorrow, see? Oh, love, that reminds me. You better take the washing round to the laundry yet. I'll have to do that next week. Oh, no, love, it must go today. You see, we can't go away unless we're all clean. I've got three shifts to do, Mum. For God's sake, I won't be able to do it. All right, love, never mind. I'll manage to get downstairs somehow. Of course, if I hurt myself and can't go tomorrow... Here we go again. All right, right. I've heard it all before. All All right, all right. Come on, come on. Where is it? Where is it? Under the bed. (laughs) Oh, love, you better take these couple of towels with you as well. Yes, all right. If we want to be nice and clean. Here, wait a minute. There's something else here. Here's some nice... Yes, there you are. There's that. There's my serviettes here. And here's my bed jacket. Well, wait a minute. (laughs) What are you doing? My bed socks. I thought you were taking the sheets off the bed for a minute. <laughs> get up, get up. Be a good boy. A good boy? I haven't got time to be bad. <laughs> on the bus, will you? What were you doing with that bird? Trying to pinch her bra? God, blimey, the fuss she made, you thought she was wearing it. Yeah, well, it's a nice thought, though. <laughs> Get in the cab. Uh, that's my laundry there. Yeah? <laughs> I've just about had enough of you. Why? The other day it was a shopping. Yeah. So today it's a laundry. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You know the regulations as well as I do. Busmen will not use the buses to carry their personal effects. Yeah, well, I've got to get home because they're waiting for it, my oh. I don't know they're yours. What do you mean? I know you busmen's tricks. Claiming lost property is your own. Oh, come off. I think I'll prove it is. Well, prove it then. Go on then. What's on top? Go on. What's on top? Right. What, these yours, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Your long combs. <laughs> Your sister's tights, don't mess about. What is? Yeah, never mind. What are these yours? Don't mess your, about. Your, your pants, aren't they? Yeah, what's that? <laughs> what, with the leopard spots? <laughs> your pants, 
<laughs> Tarzan of the Basses. <laughs> I don't know they're yours. I put them on every Saturday night, don't I? Any witnesses? Uh, uh, hang on. As shop steward, I'm here to tell you, you don't have to expose your private life to an inspector. <laughs> I mean, can anyone identify them for you? Yeah, well, one of the clippers. <laughs> oh, right. yeah. yeah, artist from Basildon. She, she's seen them. Has she? Yeah, duh. don't look like that. She gave them to me as a Christmas present. Yeah, hasn't done her much good. She hasn't seen them since. <laughs> How do you know? Has it, uh, has it got a hole in it? Well, of course it has. That's the way they're made, isn't it? No, you didn't mean that one, Jack. You mean, uh, you mean that hole in the back, don't you? Well, that's where I caught myself on the cabin, uh, a screw in the cab, you see. And I put in for a new pair of trousers. you remember that, Jack? Yeah, I'll bring it up to the union. You can put in for a new pair of underpants as well. Yeah. I'll do what my wife runs on your agenda. Now, come on, give it back. You know the one. Come on. Yes, well, it seems you can identify them. Yeah. But don't you let me catch you using a bus to carry your personal effects again. Yeah, well, anyway, come on. I want it all back, cos my family got to get packed up and they're going to wait tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not surprised if you're wearing things like that. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going round the house swinging from chandelier to chandelier, do you? Have a good rest and, uh, and don't hurry back now. Now, are you sure you'll be all right, love? I mean, can you cook for yourself? <coughs> Blimey, I've been cooking for you three all the week, haven't I? That's one of the main reasons why we're going away. <laughs> well, I've made a menu out. Well, blimey, Mum, I know what to eat, don't I? Oh, it's not for you, love. It's for the cat. Oh, I'll give it a drop of milk. No, no. It's got to have boiled cod and minced liver, then stewed beef, then minced vegetables, and a nice little bit of chopped up art. I'll give it some grapefruit for starters, if you like. Oh, very nice. Only mm. chop it up and take the pips out. <laughs> I think you'd better get going, Mrs B. Here, yeah, yeah, don't let us stop you with a washing up. Jack will see us to the oh. cot. Right, Olaf. Ta-da. Come on, I'll Come on, hold it here, Mrs B. Head them off to the skylight. Now, look, Olive, Arthur, get well quickly, and then you can enjoy yourselves. Yeah. Well, I think we'll just get well quickly. <laughs> Come on, Sunshine. Awesome. All right, Mrs B, all aboard. That's all right. Here you are, Jack. There you go, Arthur. Olive, that's it. Any more? Here you go, Sunshine. Oh, Arthur, it'll be just like a second honeymoon. Yeah, exactly the same. There you go, Arthur. Tuck your bottom in. All very tight now. Get well soon. All very tight now. Tick, tick. There you go. Bye bye. Good night. Well, that's it. We got rid of them, Stan. They're all gone now. Get the birds in, eh? Hey, what's wrong, mate? You all right? Oh, blimey, right, mate. <laughs> I didn't want to tell the old lady, but I feel lousy. No, I think, I think that's 102, isn't it? Oh. You're kidding yourself, mate. That's nowhere near 102. Oh. It's 103.5. <laughs> you got the flu. Yeah. I'm not surprised they've all three of them heard it, haven't they? Oh, blow it and half catching. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it must be. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jack, mate, what am I going to do, mate? Oh, uh, don't you worry. You go to bed and I'll fix everything. Oh, good. You look after me. No, I'll fix everything at the depot. Get myself a new driver. <laughs> no, don't forget, mate. We're only next door, so if you want the thing, just bang on the wall. If we don't hear you, we'll know you're all right. Or I've snuffed it. <laughs> yeah, well, either way, you won't need any help, will you? <laughs> 